The views expressed in the following program do not necessarily represent the views of this station or its management. Real People, Real Life is brought to you by these fine sponsors. Welcome back, real people, real life. Yes, we're here once again. We're here. Oh no, he did we're here. It. Oh, no. he did it. He did it. I can't believe it. Yeah. You look good too. You look really good. Oh uh, well, we have some interesting things today. Uh, oh, yeah. A lot of interesting things, obviously. Um, <laughs> Fossa, you look lovely in your pink Thank hat. you. I'm in the Christmas spirit. I don't know if you guys seen the gingerbread house I made. I saw something that you were just <laughs> a, a baking happy yeah. chick with the no, bread. No, I, 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 I saw it. No, I saw it. <laughs> we were going to yeah, let you go. Bread. I was going to let her keep going. But yeah, 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 yeah. I need just, to get the recipe for that if I could. I'll write it down for you yeah. before we leave. So that she gets a picture of the bread, you know, and then a little. With some ginger. They're talking yeah. about bread. <laughs> yeah. I, I posted the blonde gingerbread house, too. Oh, did you? Okay, <laughs> that's nice. That's nice. Um, How are you doing? I am doing fantastic. It was a really great. Event, benefit yes. on, on Sunday. It was a sad occasion in a way because yes. it was a benefit for the children of the lady who was murdered mm-hmm. in Fairmont Park. But it was at Kirby's. It was one of the best benefits I've seen them do over there, actually. I saw a lot of the pictures and it looked like a fantastic event. Yeah. I mean, there were so many cool people. I wished I could have been there. It was great. Know. I think they raised several thousand dollars. I don't know. The I, exact I saw 10,000. No, I would believe that. So that's what I, I think it was. The silent uh, auction was phenomenal. Yeah. The artworks they had, people building like five, you know, $600 oh, yeah. for stuff. Oh, sweet. Yeah. I know, yeah. It was a, it was I think it was up, a good yeah. success, yeah. And uh, I am not even going to ask you, Joe, what happened over the weekend. <laughs> Because no, in fact, <laughs> okay. ask Joe right now. Like, uh, 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 oh, we'll maybe. talk about the new organization later. If it was bad, it happened to Joe. Would we? Later. I know. I bad. mean, this this guy comes up Matt. every every Monday, and like, we sit here and just go, "Oh my, go ahead. I'm gonna go you go ahead." This is very fitting. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Well, that's good. Yeah. He's just the same receptacle. Joe. Yeah. I was... For Joe. Okay. Well, let's. Uh, okay. Let's. This okay. is here for a reason. Okay. Yeah. Many. And, yeah. Many. Right. And I think we all can have our our, our uh, uh, choice of what what the reason is. But I I really wish I would have had time today. But I was busy fighting with with the doctor, um, and I wasn't about to back down from that fight. Anyway, I was going to make this little graph. Okay, where it said you know, and I was going to use my pen. You know. Um, so all the way over here we have let's say it's Fossa, okay? Yeah. Fossa I'm, is that's a fact jack. That's a fact <laughs> jack. Okay. So I have three places in my head that I'm going, right? Yeah. And it's either that's a fact jack, okay, or in the middle we have you know where we're whatever going, jack. All three of the guys on this side uh-huh. of the table. Uh-huh. I feel uh-huh. you uh-huh. 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 then we go over here and we say, <laughs> You are full of crap, Jack. So it's okay. state of Denmark. <laughs> so And it's all on that side of the table. I know, no, 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 <laughs> just kidding. nicely put there. So yeah. I really, you know, wished I would have had time to make this fancy oh, thing, but look, I didn't. Look at that. It's Obama and his teleprompter. <laughs> <laughs> no way, Jose. <laughs> I have no idea how far this is going to go. Yeah. Um, I do know. I Given do know. Given the sources, I think he had an idea where it could have gone. <laughs> I, I think that right now, Boss and I were talking about this earlier today. Let me today. be clear. <laughs> <laughs> I think we were talking about this today, and there's this, like, crud going around. And I know yeah, I'm fighting yeah. it. And mm. So I was telling her earlier this, really earlier this morning, I said, you know, I think I could actually compete with Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer right now. Because I've been blowing my nose so much, I feel like it's just like, ding. But, you know, whatever. It does have a little bit of a glow to it, Thank but you're you. still beautiful. Oh, you're so, so kind. I just assumed as though we were doing a Christmas theme here. You're rude off the red nose. Robin right? oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, Robin Red Nose. Okay, lovely. <laughs> and over here lovely. you have the Island of Misfit Toys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. So do you fly in your magic dust? Uh, occasionally. <laughs> As a matter of fact. Um, and speaking of that magic dust. Um, yes. Today. You Joe, go. I, I, yeah. I, this, this happened last Thursday. Um, I was on my way to um, shoot some TV. And um, I had some ladies that were patiently waiting for me. And some other folks that were waiting. And I thought, man, you know, you guys hear me talk about pantyhose. And the fact that they're ridiculously expensive. And I can't stand those things. Okay. I don't like them anyway. They're a pain. Okay. So, but I know if we're going to do this TV shoot, I better have a backup pair. 
I'd offer my grooming services, but I know your husband carries a gun. That, that's just yeah. Kind of yeah, we are armed. <laughs> um, you anyway. think grooming takes care of the need for pantyhose? Yeah, I was going to say. Mm -hmm. No, I know it's women that. It's not about no shave. It's, yeah, it has nothing to do with the no shave. <laughs> um, oh, I don't even want to go there. Anyway, so I stop and I pick up a pair. And it says, it you know, a pair of pantyhose. It, a pair it, of pantyhose. It is marked all over here. So I get down to the place where we're shooting TV and I'm like, okay, back up, you know, back up pair, right? Okay, this is not a pair of hose. This is a ho. Ah, that <laughs> it's it's one it's for a mermaid. That's what I said, yeah. right? It's for your it mermaid. It says right friend. there the, so, for mermaid mermaids only. Yeah, it doesn't say ADA that. compliant. I, you know, I'm just like, really? Okay. So it seriously like is just one I leg feel, in here. I know. Here. What happened? It was special, especially designed job. for a woman named Peggy. Can I see that? Oh, man. Oh, oh man. That was oh, slow on that one, but I got it. You know, I never Is know where we're going to go. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Mermaid edition. Oh, yeah. There you go. Oh, God. Oh, Joe. Tell Joe, Joe, Joe. Um, Joey, Joey. Okay. Mm -hmm. then, we, then we were getting on this, Crazy. you know, battle of... Or Irene. <laughs> Eileen. 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 <laughs> oh, the Oriental version, Irene. Okay, Irene. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. It is wow. small. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we, uh, so that's kind of some of the weird stuff that we have going on. We have That's a Fact yeah. Jack. We have Whatever Jack. And we have You Are Full of Crap Jack. And then we have You Had One Job, and that was to put a pair one of job, pantyhose. Okay. <laughs> a pair of pantyhose in this it. box, and you couldn't do that. $15 oh. an hour. Oh, pretty much, yeah. Probably. That's probably what you're making. probably minimum wage. That's what you got. And then we were talking, Joe and I, you know, we get sometimes going and the rants just kind of get, I don't know, Joe has a way of ranting. No. Way better than me. It's a gift I have. You do. <laughs> it is obviously a very unique gift because um, you do very well. Um, My but, Greek name would have been Pistophocles. <laughs> Pistophocles. <laughs> I, I knew, I knew today up. was going to be one of those days. I mean, I could feel this coming like last Thursday. Um, anyway, so we were sitting here earlier and we were like, you know, talking about our, that's a fact, Jack, all the way over here too. You're full of crap, Jack. And so we were talking about the W's, okay? Who, what, when, where, you know, Good who, what, when, where, why, um, those things. I have a whole list of things that fit into that from my w. weekend. That's what I'm afraid of. Yeah. That's that you know. That's we, what we I'm shied afraid away of. from it, but maybe we need to go. go yeah. I don't know. I, I I I I would be offensive. Well, I I, I people I, don't want me to be offensive because I will just say that it. Um, just the fact that I'm breathing is offensive. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're killing me. We did a poll on that, and actually, that yeah, was correct. That was a majority. Yeah. This will kind of go in yeah. into the same category of, of your weekend, and yeah. um, the water and sewer rates in uh -oh. Wichita. Yeah, ding, sewer. Ding, 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 ding. Do you want to talk about let's, that? Let's talk about sewer. Yeah. Yeah, there, were, there was a bit sewer. of a, a sewer issue at the club. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I feel the issue started before the sewer we're starting we're starting a new group mad men against tampons oh. matt don't flush these things ladies well, if that does. thing can swell up and and plug up a four inch pipe i understand why you have cramps <laughs> really <laughs> i mean <laughs> oh, this is nuts okay, quit okay. flushing these things oh, Lord, 500 are we, bucks are we, are in are three weeks yet? just lying? cleaning these things out I, 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 <laughs> so that goes back to your water you and sewer such a long fuse on them you can't get them to light you throw oh, them they burn out joey Okay. Only. Tampoons. Only. Oh. <laughs> this is just too much. Okay, seriously. Boy, this does belong in this. <laughs> it's perfect. Oh, I've been pulling this stuff out of a pipe for the week. Don't. Even go. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. Okay. But it is true. Uh, Wichita water and sewer rates. Uh, the, yeah. Was it wow. something you said? Um, the biggest thing that it says on here is compliance with regulatory agencies will uh, cost $128 million. Water and sewer line replacements, $116 million. Uh, new mains for future growth, $42 million. Uh, relocation of mains along Kellogg, $10 million. Um, so the sewer utility um, right now is 239 and the water utility is 378 And they don't count um, into how much of that is, is just chasing these little balls okay that's yeah. good i i yeah. visual yeah. i got gotcha. you <laughs> so if we look at this as a residential um customer that uh let's say currently it's 37 dollars and 39 cents the proposed increase would make it 39 dollars and four cents and that's if you're one of the the, the lower what were the, what was the comparison again um three thousand seven hundred and fifty gallons okay which really i i mean isn't that many to my me. average water bills a thousand dollars a month 
Right, wow. and we've had this conversation. Commercial customers, okay, which would be some of us business owners that have already been hit and we're already mm-hmm. getting hit like crazy. Um, 100,000 um, gallons at $513 a month would increase to 545, basically a $32 a month increase. Um, and this is looking at um, combined monthly water and sewer bills for um, 2015. So if they take this on and they go ahead and do this, uh, you can expect, you know, increased. You increases. can expect an increase in rent from all the little little places like the ones I own, the eight plexes and the four plexes and things like that, where the landlord pays the water bill. Right. Because now the water is going to adjust enough that we have to constitute a rent increase, and because the property taxes have gone up with that and everything right. else. So everybody that's got an average rent of three fifty a month in say the Kellogg and Maine area, you can stand by. Your rent's going to be going up somewhere around four hundred range. But don't feel alone. I'm sure every single landlord that has those four plexes or even duplexes or anything that they can't equally divide the water up just by the water company I get doing calls it, daily and gonna... guys trying to sell me their stuff. They're, they're trying to get out of them. They're trying yep. to move up to yep. bigger properties because it's getting nuts. So the end result's going to be all these low-income people that need little low-income places to stay are going to run out. And the city doesn't want you to fix them anyway because as soon as you do, they get all over you. Uh, the problem is the city. We need to go take everybody out of City Hall and, and you know, flush them down the go toilet. Go off the space. <laughs> oh, we, um, Would back to... a four-inch pipe? I can make it happen. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you know, Anything I Anything is really possible, know. I, I know, right? <laughs> Nothing ever surprises me. I have, you, I have me. a lot of good friends on City Hall. They you know what? I've got some, I've got some few good friends down there like she um, was like, I, yeah i had to really kindly spit that one out you know there's a few i other. had a friend once he got lost in the laundry i think he eloped with a sock <laughs> he might have a pair of my panties there i don't know we mystery can you say pair that would be the incorrect wording it, it's the other it, it's oh. not a pair. Why are we wearing these Am t-shirts? Today? The other one got lost in the laundry there there it is yeah. that's, yeah. The, that's what he loved with it is single and looking Wow. Oh, is that I'll what it is? Possible. Single and looking. Okay, that's I like how there's a... Okay, scary. Well, that's, that's, that's interesting. <laughs> um, I don't know if you find that positive or scary. I'm yeah. not sure. Um, so it does say leg. Leg, but I'm not looking at that. It doesn't say legs. It says it leg. It says pantyhose. It says support leg. It says pantyhose. <laughs> All right, I'm not going there. Okay. Real people, real life. We'll be right back. Real People, Real Life is brought to you by these fine sponsors. Real People, Real Life, going on location. Thanks to Mid-America Power Sports and GoPro 4. Now at Mid-America Power Sports, 333 Northwest Street, Wichita, Kansas, America. Hammond Liquor, home of the coldest beer in town and the lowest prices store-wide. For all your special events, your friends at Hammond Liquor have what you need from beer, wines, spirits, champagne, and more. Open till 8 p.m. every Sunday, Hammond Liquor, West Kellogg and Tyler Road. Hammond Liquor, home of the coldest beer in town and lowest prices store-wide, wants to remind you of very important savings days. Wine Day, Tuesdays get 20% off. Beer Day, Wednesdays get 10% off. Microbrews and imports. Open till 8 p.m. every Sunday, Hammond Liquor, West Kellogg and Tyler Road. At Trailer Town, we're all about selection, service, and safety. Trailer Town selection, hundreds to choose from, small to large, lightweight aluminum to heavy-duty steel, all types, new and used. Trailer Town service, the best in the Midwest, from wiring to axle repair. Trailer Town safety, yes, we do Department of Transportation inspections. Trailer Town, trusted, family-owned, 301 West 53rd Street North. Welcome back once again, real people, real life, which talk Kansas, America. America. We have America. a busy show. America. We really, really do. Yep. And right now, I'm honored, James. Rose Barrow. 
Roseboro. You are the president for Wichita and Sedgwick County for the Independent Neighborhood Associations. That's correct. correct. Okay. We had, um, and we kind of briefly, you know, our first segment, we never know where we're going to go with it, but um, obviously, as you saw that. Um, <laughs> but but we did have something very serious that took place here in Wichita that was just yes. off, the, off the charts of a horrible, horrible situation and we had a young lady near WSU uh, which would fall under the Fairmont correct Fairmont Neighborhood Association that's mm -hmm. correct okay that's in that that area um, where a young lady was uh, uh, brutally raped and set on fire okay um, but what you are doing and some other folks that we're going to bring with with us today is just like we always try to do on this TV show is what is the problem where is the solution? What is the problem? What is the solution? So, um, and you forgot the turn your phone off rule. But anyway, um, so, <laughs> James, tell us how. I mean, I live in a community um, where we do have a neighborhood association, you know, and we should be communicating. But it seems like nobody gets out of, off their front porch anymore. Well, that is that is correct. Uh, years back, you, when you had didn't have washes and dryers and all that, right. women hung clothes on a clothesline, and people talked to each other. Exactly. People cut their grass with push mowers, and they right. actually talked to each other. Right. Mm -hmm. You don't have that today. You're right. People go in their house, they shut their door, and they see nothing, they hear nothing, and that's what I'm saying. Man, that is so on the mark. That is so true. And how will yeah. that ever change? The, the back being involved in your community. But right. what's to motivate people to be involved, you know what I'm saying? I mean, especially the younger people, what's going to motivate them to want to participate? One thing is the crime all over. I don't, mm -hmm. we, you need to see something. I, if you're a young person, let's just say in my neighborhood, walking back and forth to WSU, you got people that drive by doing shootings and all of that, and people will shoot at you for nothing. And mm -hmm. so you need to be observant to see what's going on and talk to each other. Right. That each other's back is the mo best thing we can do to solve some of what's going on. You know, I um, was talking to some folks earlier today, and um, I said, you know, I told that you guys were going to be here today, and we were going to be discussing this, and it is a tough topic to discuss, but, um, you know, I, I don't think it matters where you live. Okay, I'm sorry. It and, and not anybody anymore, can, it doesn't. It, it doesn't. doesn't. It, it does doesn't. not matter where you live. Okay, I don't care if it's a gated community. Right. It I don't doesn't care if it's in the middle matter. of the country. I know. It, 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 it don't matter. It, but yeah. what we we don't have that. It's actually worse. It's what Putting it, it is. I know. Um, we don't have just hanging the clothes anymore. I remember doing that with my my well, grandma. You that's know, true. Yeah. Um, and the push mower. You know, um, and the neighbor. I mean, the I just remember when I was a little girl. You know, playing on the farm or, or you know coming into town at grandma's and hanging with all the kids and, and the families were everywhere. You know. It, it, how do we but that get doesn't that happen back. anymore. Well, like you remember when we were uh, little, everybody was on bikes. That's how yeah, moms that, met true. moms because you wanted to go stay at the new kid's house. You know, I mean, everybody acquaint. They were all acquaintances at you know, if not friends. We we are, we got to the place now where we don't let our children play outside. Uh uh. Mm -hmm. It's a thing called TV and video games. Mm -hmm. Kids out of school. That's what they on. They playing. So mm -hmm. it's no nobody outside. Right. And the kids that's outside may be some of the ones that's causing our problems. Right, right. And I, but nobody watches them. Mm -hmm. The average, anywhere from now, to, I was told yesterday, two and a half year old kids now have their own games that they can Are plug you on the TV to look at. They know the programs that they want to watch. We'll teach them at an early age, but we need to be community oriented. Right. And we've gotten away from that. I really Absolutely. agree with that text. That's so true. One Social the media, the, the actual interaction between humans, you know. That's, that's true. And it's, that's why Wichita Independent Neighborhoods exists, is to help neighbors organize. Right. Uh, we're getting ready to do a class this spring with Wichita Public Library to give people some tools of how to get back involved in their community at the city, county level. Uh, that way and then also how to get together with their neighbors right. there's all kinds of issues whether it's community policing and they want to talk with their community policemen have them come to meetings whether it's about zoning things they've right. got to put a big tower up in your backyard you may not right. want that right uh, there's a, and dogs dogs running loose is a huge problem in South Wichita and other parts of Wichita these are the type of things that wind does and this is how people here in the Wichita area can get together and organize, right? And then take their voice to uh, city hall. Yeah, or but you say can get together, and there's therein lies the problem. 
how do you get them away from those computers and cell phones? Yeah, I and have the answer. How do you on motivate <laughs> them to be once again involved with the community, other people, interact? You know, I mean, how do you do that? It's it's, it's hard to say. I can't answer that because I have that problem getting my own grandkids away from those games. Uh -huh. But I guess if you get them involved in some of the activity outside, if it's no more than, let's take horseback riding. I'll use that for an example. Anything that'll get them out of that house to get them organized. Now, I don't know how you gonna do this. I don't know, and as a kid, you had to cut grass, you had to rake mm -hmm. leaves, you well, had to do all of that. There's the community garden that Janet Wilson got does. got community well, garden, that. and that is something because uh, and I would say the same, I've seen the kids from Spade Elementary come over and dig out sweet potatoes out of a garden. Uh -huh. For the first time, some of these kids saw where the potato came from. They knew what hot peppers was. And that's what it was. That's the environment. Right, and that's yeah. what we're trying to do. We're trying to do things to keep our kids involved. And come to our neighborhood meetings, for example. Right. We even don't have babysitters. If somebody want to come, that'll watch the baby so we can engage Communicate the and, yeah. To, to do this and how are we going to do that if I knew that I have a suggestion yes oh, you boy. may or may not be able to implement it but yeah I have a suggestion one of the big problems that our you know, lackluster city government keeps coming up with is they're worried about paint flakes and various other things that don't amount to a hill of bird crap but uh, the city also has a depository where they get tons of this paint yeah. You want a community activity to get your neighbors involved and everything. It used to be that when uh, somebody was having hard times, the little town would get together and they'd have a house raising. They'd, yes. they'd, the whole That's town true. show up and That's build true. somebody's house. Well, we don't have to build a house. But there's somebody in everybody, everybody's neighborhood, there's a lady that's probably pushing 80 years old or in her 80s, yeah. and she can't paint her house. She doesn't have family around that can paint her house. But if your neighborhood shows up with some of that free city paint, and they paint her house, and they mm -hmm. take care of her house, just that one house, and you did one of those a week. Just imagine what you can wow. accomplish. All of a sudden, property one. values are coming up. The city's getting cleaner. You, you get rid of some bureaucrat that can go around worrying about uh, paint flakes. Developing a sense of community, and you get Strong everybody enough. together on a common project because oh, it's in their that. neighborhood. That Take care of the elderly. That's actually that. brilliant. Yeah. And I like that. I and we, how we, we could implement that. Hate to say this, but we do that. Yes, we do. What? We do that. Love Wichita. Oh yes, we do it during Love Wichita. Mm -hmm. We do neighborhood cleanups, and we picks up tons and tons of trash. That's another and if problem. If I get time, I will go on this camera and I can show you some of the work that we're doing. I do want and some stuff. And yeah. this is uh, it's amazing. <clears throat> it is amazing, but I agree with what you're saying. We have done that. We do anything we can to get people out, to get them involved, yeah. but the people that need to be out there won't come. You'll get people from out of that neighborhood coming from someplace else. Good example. Mm -hmm. Last Friday, I get a call last Friday night. Mm -hmm. South Wichita, Channel 3 News. I don't know who saw it. James, we got neighborhoods down here that people complain about vandalism, graffiti, and all that. But where is this neighborhood? When you call us, we need to know where to go to, right. who we go talk to, but we don't know. We're in place. We try to get as much publicity out there as we can, and it's just not working. I don't. The people that this will help. Maybe this well, will help. Who could we get in touch with? Like, if if we if we wanted to help, who could we get in touch with? Like, for everybody out there. How do we make that contact yeah. to be able to help? We uh, we have a website, the Win Wichita, uh, Win Wichita. It's staying mm -hmm. with that. Just contact us all. Like, that means well, that the helpers got to be proactive to find what to help. We need something that, that triggers do, a call right. to action because uh, I agree. In, in advertising, if you ain't got a call to action, you're not driving anybody to the, to, to your your, right. your cause. And that's what I'm hearing here is okay. We put it out here. We've got our shingle hung out, but. And we, we're, we're waiting for somebody to walk through the door rather than going out. And well, recruit. we do pretty actively on on organizing and recruiting. But you're right. It, yeah, we need to know what needs to be done, and yeah. we're doing that, like a neighborhood cleanup. Right. And yeah, I, one of those. I can't say that I we want everybody to come to our neighborhood cleanups because we got people coming in dumping. Right. From other neighborhoods. Mm -hmm. True story. In the, in the yeah. more ran down neighborhoods where they don't think it'll be noticed, they just go and dump it. That's where they go dump it. Yeah. Now, this is the kind of help we need. Yes, we got people out there. I know some people now that need housework redone, but you got to have somebody that's got that specialty to do that. Mm -hmm. And also, if you got a child out there working, it's liability 
problems oh, that, that we got to work That is about. part of the there issues the right there. Everybody wants we to go claim right back to that. Yeah, like, oh, we it's a talked about issue. this today. A hundred years ago, if I was running my horse-drawn cart and I ran into your horse-drawn cart, then we'd break out the beer and we'd spend all night fixing carts. Fixing <laughs> That's right, <laughs> now, see? Uh, Everybody wants to sue. Well, now you got to have a new car, even though yours was used, and there's punitive exactly. damages because right. you're on the wrong side of the lane, and, oh, i got to get something extra out of it, so I'm going to pretend I'm hurt. Yeah, uh, my neck and my back. Oh, <laughs> uh, that—that's uh, what we were. We are a litigious society, unfortunately. But mm-hmm. how unfortunate! Uh, that's not to get turned around. Right, just go on your uh, where, okay, get rid of ridiculous Where is lawsuits. this garden at? Well, this, that would be one. In power, I, and I almost to feel like, and I hate to say it like this, but I almost feel like it should be a punishment to have to go and like clean up neighborhoods. The thing is called the the technical term is a frivolous lawsuit. If we if we were to change the law so that the judge had the ability to call it a frivolous lawsuit and throw it out before it ever got into the courtroom. A lot of these I'm ridiculous lawsuits will go away. That's uh, that's not a bad Gosh, thing because right. we're out here suing great. everybody over everything, and, like and everybody hollers, "Oh, it ain't fair! I got to get my fair shake." Life's not fair. Life's never going to be fair. It's not fair oh, that I wow. was born this ugly and you're that pretty. Look at that. That's just the reality, <laughs> uh, and, and that's the way it is. Uh, and we've got to get past this whole thing get, of everybody's equal because equality that. never existed and never will. Uh, we've got to work with what we've got and get out there and make the best of it. And we're not going to do that as long as we keep having this system trying to make everything a, a level playing field. There's no way in the world it's not physically possible that you're going to lift the amount of weight that I can. Right. That's right. not fair. You're also never going to be able to push out a baby. I'm, that's right. <laughs> it's not fair. That's, that's reality. True. We need to warm up to this idea. There's no such thing as a level playing field. All we can do is create a level opportunity. Right, right. And it's up to the individual to take that opportunity. And instead, we're trying to make excuses for the individuals that won't, and we're trying to hold down the ones that will. That's what's got to change. Wow. Bravo. <laughs> you know, but on that same note, <sighs> yeah, I know, right? Joe, I, he, what do you call yourself? What kind of a source? Oh, don't ask, please. I'm Because <laughs> I, I had a different a source for you. <laughs> oh, my, my Greek name, you mean? Yeah, your Greek. Yeah, yeah Pistophocles. I, I think it's Educatocles. And it's it's tons of people out here trying to work with the kids, the youth. But also, we got to motivate our kids. Now, this is a, right. I'm tired of hearing this making a color issue out of it. It's not. A, yeah, it's, it's not. It's not. This is across the board issue. Oh, it's, it's everywhere. It's a people issue. People issue. People That's issue. what it is. Absolutely. All levels. Uh, at the top, all the way down to the grassroots. I, I'm to curious. Do you put your pant leg on one at a time? No, sometimes. Sometimes I try to jump in. So I jump in. Yeah, I'm not even <laughs> Don't go anywhere, James. We're going to have you right back. We've got to take a quick break. Uh, real people, real Thank life. It's happening right here. Real people, real life is brought to you by these fine sponsors. King Auto Sales, the king of buy here, pay here. Bad credit, no credit, no problem. The king specializes in getting you in the ride you want no matter the credit score. Credit King, doing it better all the time with the largest selection to choose from in all price ranges at one location. The King's Corner, 31st Street South and Broadway. Kansas' biggest buy here, pay here. GoCreditKing.com. Knapp Weaponry is the home of Wichita's newest indoor temperature-controlled shooting range. Mention this ad for two-for-one pricing weekdays from noon to four. Knapp Weaponry is an NRA Business Alliance member that offers NRA and state-certified instruction classes, training, and women's unarmed self-defense classes. We buy and sell new and used guns and offer gunsmith services. Knapp Weaponry offers a free range session with the purchase of a new gun. We also offer transfer services and an array of ammo. Knapp Weaponry, the West Side's best-kept secret. Sal's Japanese Steakhouse, 6829 East Kellogg Drive. A Wichita tradition for awesome dining and always a great time. Enjoy our Monday to Thursday specials, including half-priced chicken and shrimp dinners. Sal's is open seven days a week. Come in, relax, and let us give you the treat of fine dining and good fun in a beautiful atmosphere. From our family to yours, Sal's Japanese Steakhouse, 6829 East Kellogg, Wichita, Kansas. 
At Economy Motors, we know that everything costs more these days. Gas costs more, utilities cost more, groceries cost more. But what's one thing that will not cost you more? Buying your next vehicle with us. Everything we have is priced $12,995 or under. Bad credit, no credit, no worries. No crazy gimmicks and no bait and switch. We keep it real. Economy Motors, home of Easy Pay. We've got your back. Don't worry, please.